Brittany, we were talking a little bit earlier. The Red Cross is not at this location. A lot of people were asking, is the Red Cross coming? And the, the simple answer is, I'm not sure. We do know 220 to 240 households were affected by that evacuation order that went in place within the half mile radius of the rail car. Brenda Ordonez, you've been talking to a lot of residents who were affected. Yeah, Trisha, right now we're in Hooven on Hamilton Cleves Road. Now, the barricade that you see right behind me just past that barricade is a neighborhood that was one of those neighborhoods evacuated. Now, I spoke to families in that neighborhood who tell me that it's been 24 hours and they're just ready to go back home and resume their lives. Bunch of big smoke coming up, is what I've seen. And uh, I smelled something real bad. It was very, very potent. Um, I could taste it. Yeah. It's what on my lips? I definitely had a numb, numb tongue. Um, I had burning eyes. My tongue was numb for even hours after, and then it became tingly. Um, I had some dizziness, so I don't know what this is going to do to me in the long run. What Alicia Bashong and Gary Witt smelled and could be the cause of their lingering symptoms is styrene. EMA officials say the chemical is toxic and flammable, and yesterday it was leaking from a rail car near US 50 and Ohio 128, prompting evacuations for anyone in a half mile radius. I'm like, okay, you know, like this shouldn't be a big deal. They'll get it cleaned up and everybody think will be good. We'll be able to go home tonight. Leave for a few hours and go back home. No big deal, right? Yeah, we're what? 24 hours now, 22 hours, no medicine, no clothes, like I have nothing. Alicia Johnson is just one of nearly 200 residents forced out of their home, some leaving their animals and medication behind. Shelters welcomed residents Tuesday night, but many I spoke to stayed with family or went to hotels. Ended up just booking a room online through Super 8. And I mean, like that's $100 a night, you know, thankfully, they're going to pick up tonight, but what about last night? You know, what about future nights? The evacuation remains in place and residents say this has changed the peace they once felt at home. It absolutely has. I worry what if, you know, the residual that that cloud that was sitting over top of Hooven or that was actually it wasn't even over top. It was like literally in front of us. <laughs> it had to have fell onto our properties onto our, you know, and so did it get into my house? They said to shut off your AC, all that. Well, we evacuated so quick. None of that got shut off. So does that mean that that's inside of my house now? I mean, we just need answers. We need real answers. Now, those were just some of the questions plaguing residents. Currently, we do know that at 7, there's going to be another update on the situation. We plan to be there and bring you the answers to those questions. For now, live in Hooven with photojournalist Tom DeWeese, I'm Brenner Donias, Fox 19 Now.